How are we doing? Plates? We got some plates. All right. How many plates do we have? Ooh, quite a few, actually. Make a couple of those. Make two of those. Uh, and that should be enough. We should actually be able to do this. Let's make a box as well. Even though we've already got a box here, uh, we'll take this box out. And here we go. Look at this. Our first assembly line is almost in full effect. We're going to get one of these uh, like this. And this is going to pick, once it's powered, it's going to pick stuff. See, you can angle this around. See, the, the line at the back is where it's going to pick from. And the arrow is the direction it's going to drop it in. So it can just do that one way. Uh, and then, look, we can actually put it onto... Actually, let's not do that. We'll just have it put it directly into the box, and then we can make it a little bit more elaborate later. Okay, let's grab uh, some coal from here then, and we'll give half to this one and half to this one so we can see this working. Oh, shit, yeah, look at that. Look at that progress. Look, that arm is going fucking crazy. Uh, I don't know why this one has picked up a plate. Oh, why is it? Oh, it's because it's picking from the wrong way. Okay, I see. All right. We'll just grab that out of its hand, if we can. Can I Can I grab it out? You can press F to grab things out of the hands. Okay, fine. We're just going to have to replace it. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking did it wrong already. I can't believe it. Okay. We want it to go this way so that it picks off the line and then dumps it into that uh, furnace thing, the, the smelter. There we go. It's working now. Look, it's actually putting all of the pieces of ore into here. And look, it's slowly smelting away, making a plate and then this arm is putting it into the box and look we already have fucking like 23 of these great we're gonna need many many more um uh, but that should be a good start it should be a good start for getting us off the ground we need one of these we need an offshore pump we need a steam engine and we need a couple of these boilers as well i think this is going to chew th the steam engine itself is probably going to chew through the majority of our plates so let's build that uh, in the first instance and we're going to need a little bit of copper as well we're going to smelt some of this stuff up manually uh, so that we can make the offshore pump, which is going to pump water out of this little lake and then uh, filter it into the steam engine, heat it all up, and we're going to have some electricity. Holy shit, can you believe that? Reminds me a lot of Tech It. Remember, remember Tech It? Minecraft Tech It? You had to do all this shit. It reminds me a lot of it. Oh shit, look, look. My, my thing just broke. My fucking iron axe just broke. Mid chop. Look, I got eight pieces of copper ore. That's probably enough for now anyway. Um, let's steal some of the coal from here. We'll grab a, another furnace. We'll just have like a copper burning furnace here as well so that we can carry on doing this stuff. And then we'll grab these 19 plates out of here. Fantastic. Uh, we should be able to make, let's make two of these. We'll make two boilers and then we're going to need some uh, iron gear wheels, pipes and electronic circuits. So we're going to need five plates. See at the bottom there, the total rock. It's going to take four seconds to craft. We need five plates uh, and three copper plates, uh, which we'll have more than enough of here. Look at that. We've already got eight. Eight plates. Great. And eight of those two. Excellent. Okay. We'll make our offshore pump. Perfect. That's all we need for this um, steam engine now. We can do it from here as well. Look. So, we'll get this set up like this. So you can get it set up like on the side here too. Actually, maybe getting it set up on the side might be a bit better. We're going to need a couple of these in the end, but we can start with one anyway. Uh, we'll get the boiler uh, attached here. We'll have two boilers attached. Uh, and then the actual steam engine attached to the end of the boilers. Okay, so the water comes up the pipe, goes into these boilers, heats up, uh, and then this steam engine starts producing uh, electricity. Fantastic. We're going to have to go empty out the box and get some more coal now. Such a long trek. Look at this. I have to run all the way down here. All the way down here to get this coal. <laughs> we'll be able to get like a, a nice long conveyor belt that actually brings the coal back up. Oh, look at all the fucking coal. I can't believe it. Okay, let's split this in half so that this has enough to keep going. And look at Look at how fucking wooden we are. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like some hair coming out of the back of the helmet. Might be a girl. Hard to tell. Okay. Uh, we're back. The, uh, the steam engine is uh, not powered. And, of course, the uh, boilers need some fuel as well. So we're going to split this stack like this. And uh, let's also split a stack like this. And we should now be uh, generating some electricity. Really just as simple as that. Pretty fantastic stuff, isn't it? Okay, we can make two of these uh, inserters. Uh, these are the electric powered ones instead of the, um, the coal burning ones. So we'll get rid of these ones and we'll replace them with these ones. 
Uh, so we want to pick from here into there, and we want to pick from here into here. Okay, perfect. We're also going to need some small electric poles. So we'll craft those up quickly. Uh, we now have four. And we can probably just like attach them uh, like this. We'll attach one close to the actual steam generator, and then we'll have... Uh, should we come down like this? Yeah, that'll be nice. We'll line it up. And look, see the, the wire like stretches across. We can have one like go here. And then one on the other side too. So that we get that coverage on either side. And look. Now our inserters are powered with electricity. So you can click on a pole and see how much you're actually producing and consuming. So at the moment, these two inserters are actually using 800 watts of power. Great. Okay. Um... This is another thing that we can upgrade eventually, but it takes a little while. I mean, we can get lamps and stuff as well. Look at how dark it is at night. Look, we've only got, like, this flashlight that just sort of seems to come out of, like, our midsection or whatever. Um, uh, and then we have to wait for day. Of course, there are aliens around. I don't see any on the map at the moment, but we're still going to have to think about getting some defenses set up and everything. There's all sorts of research and stuff as well that we can look into doing eventually. Uh, if you hit T, look at all this. Look at all these technologies. Some of them are crazy. Look at this. Basic exoskeleton equipment. Holy shit. You can make the Death Star. Look at this. Combat robotics. Of course, it's not the Death Star. It's probably like some like little hover droid or something. It's like rockets. Look at the alien technology. Landmines. There's our car. Automobilism. Uh, rail signals. You can actually make like a railway train to like transport goods and stuff. It's got everything. It's a bit like Open TTD in that sense as well. Actually, another game that uh, this game incorporates aspects of, which is kind of cool. These are the advanced like furnaces, which are better than the uh, the wood or the stone furnaces that we're using right now. Um, and uh, these are the things that we actually can start to research. So they use these science packs, uh, which we can just make. Like if I go into crafting, I go into here, you need some copper plates and you need some iron gear wheels. Um, so we're going to uh, look at actually automating some of that as well. We're going to automate uh, the production of gear wheels and copper plates, feed them into like some sort of like little factory. And then out the back will come these little potions, uh, which we'll then put into our labs, uh, which is here. These things, little labs here. Pretty complicated, but pretty cool as well you end up with like these really massive automated systems where you have like these conveyor belts shifting all of these ores and stuff down into these furnaces and making just multitudes of plates look at that iron plates like the cornerstone building material or crafting material in this game you need it for pretty much everything uh, so that's fine we're gonna have to look at uh, extracting some copper out of here before long have it come down here and we can smelt it all up into plates as well that should be pretty cool uh for now let's go and check our coal we'll see how the coal is doing Whew, what a jog look at this look at him go he never gets tired okay what's in the box oh look at all this delicious coal okay uh we'll just leave like a little bit behind uh so that it can just keep chugging away down here we're gonna have to do this a couple of times like i was saying but eventually we can automate it so that we have a conveyor belt just leading coal up to a box up here oh look at look at the iron ore extractor is out of fuel now too unbelievable uh we can actually get an electric one of those as well uh it's right here we need some electronic circuits so we're gonna actually need to have some more copper uh, and for that, I'm going to need a new tool uh, to extract some of this uh, manually for now. Uh, or I could just set up another one of these um, coal burning things and, and do it that way. We're going to need some stone. We're going to do that. I think it's four stone that we need. We need four stone for a furnace. Uh, so that's fine. We'll just quickly grab four stone. Uh, and we should be able to make... Oh, maybe it's not. What's a stone furnace? Oh, it's five. I was wrong. Five. There we go. We should be able to make this now. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we've made it, and let's place it here. I'm going to place it here, fuel it up, uh, and uh, we'll start extracting some of this stuff into... Uh, well, actually, maybe we could sort of set something up similar to what we had over here uh, and actually just get it all smelted up uh, and ready to go into a box. We've got boxes and stuff too. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to need two of these uh, inserters, and then we can power them. So we are actually going to have to do... Uh, some of this manually just for now but that's okay do i actually have any fuel on me yeah i do okay perfect okay shove that in there uh let's get the box collecting some of this stuff uh and then we can sort of set up some of the automation here uh for now uh like this we can have like this go like that 
I have to move this over slightly uh, like that. That's fine. Uh, and then we got those burner inserters, but uh, ideally we want to have the electric ones because they're a bit better. Oh, shit. Fucking, we need so much of this stuff. It's crazy. Okay, uh, we'll grab some plates out of here because there's like a fucking ton of them, which is great. Uh, and we'll try to get some power lines set up and stuff as well. Um, do we need more fuel? Yeah, we do. All the fuel is being used. Shit, I'm gonna have to go back down and get some more coal. Unbelievable. It's gonna be such a huge line as well. Look at how fucking far away it is. Oh, it takes me like 10 years to run down here every time I want to get some coal. It's worth it though. I mean, I need to power by automation. It's, uh, it's, it's my own special little factory. I can't, I can't let it down. Come on, factory. We're gonna do this together. Uh, I should probably chop down some of this wood as well on the way. It's always worth having some wood. It's always worth having some wood for those um, electric poles. Fucking great. Okay, perfect. All right. I mean, I don't know if we ever get any communications back from people on Earth telling us that they're like about to arrive or whatever. I mean, I can't imagine that they would even really want to arrive on this planet because it's pretty barren. Uh, there's not much here. I mean, there's just like some natural resources or whatever, but I'm sure most of this stuff can be found on Earth. I mean, it's probably not much of a problem. Look, there's like a big fucking jungle out here. What's this fucking jungle? If we can explore a bit. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Look at this. It's like a gold mine. Look at all the coal up here. Jesus, that's a lot closer than the other place. And you can see this on the map. Look at how much there is. Okay, that's a lot closer. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to actually get some coal running down here rather than from up there. So we will do that. Holy crap, it was totally worth going up there. Is there anything else nestled in this massive forest? Not really. There's like some stone up here. And it looks like, what's that? It's a bit of iron ore. Okay. Uh, you probably notice as well I've got like a gun and uh, I've also got uh, regular magazines for my guns and that's to uh, combat the aliens if they ever decide to attack you, which they do from time to time unfortunately because they're assholes. Um, so we'll have to be careful. Alright, let's smelt up some of this copper anyway so that we get some copper plates uh, and then we can make some more electric poles and uh, crucially also make these inserters and automate this somewhat. That'll be nice. Okay. Where's this gonna go? So that's one there. So pretty much where I'm standing now is where the box has to go. Okay, put the box there, uh, and that should be fine. And uh, are my plates ready? Kinda ish. Are they ready? Yeah, I can make two of these. Perfect. Oh, and I can make like four. Oh, fucking perfect. That's all I needed. Okay, leave that going. So we want to pick from the conveyor belt to there, and we want to pick from there and put into the box. And we want to run these power lines over here too. Okay, so we'll have a power line like that, uh, like that. Oh, look at this. These ones are like going in the water. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how this guy is managing to do that on his own. Oh, shit, look, they can't go in a straight line anymore. They're going to have to come down this way slightly and put one here. So you, they just need to sort of connect up so that, you know, see the little blue thing around where the stuff is unpowered. There you go. So you can start taking the plates out. It's fully powered now, which is great. Uh, and our copper plates are being put into the wooden chest. And, of course, we also need to get rid of this chest, which has given us a whole bunch of ores. And add a conveyor belt here, too. There. This other arm should... Arm? Is that... Are you thinking about it? Oh, there's already too much copper ore in there. Okay. There's not... I think it's like five. I think when it goes below five, this arm will start working again. I'm not sure. We'll have to see anyway. Uh, but for now, we have tons of these plates, uh, which is great news. And... It's really fucking dark again. <laughs> Look how fucking dark it is. I mean, eventually we can actually hook up this side and this side uh, into like some sort of huge logistics network that like leads to a whole bunch of these furnaces and stuff. Uh, and a lot of that reminds me of the game Space Chem. You ever played the game Space Chem? A fucking great game. I really enjoyed Space Chem, even though it actually taxed my brain so incredibly hard that I got headaches. I really did actually enjoy Space Chem. It was a great game. Um, so, Open TTD so far on the list, Space Chem, uh, a little bit of Minecraft, and Dig and Rig. That's four games that I've enjoyed immensely, all of them, uh, which are sort of like infused into this small little indie alpha game, uh, which is fantastic.